he said, um, as a metaphor, his, his answer, he's agreeing that he's asking many questions. And as a metaphor, he says, uh, when, when, when he, he is looking for the diamond, or when someone is looking for the diamond, but they have not found the diamond yet, then they will look and they will ask many, many questions in many different ways so they can find the diamond. But only once they have found the diamond, they will stop asking, and that is why he's asking many questions. No, no, that is the example is uh, differ. I am t I am telling only about the diamond because diamond is precious, costly, and they must be safe from the thieves and the robbers and person who can snatch them. That is why the person they are not able to adopt this meditation. So our uh, our masters put this meditation secret and give only the kings and highly persons they are they can understand. But uh, the diamond can found, how can found diamond? So person is not show the diamond, only if, if any person want to diamond, find the diamonds, there is a, its way, he can go in the diamond um, places when they can find the diamond, if they go to market, they have, they must be earn lot of money for purchase the diamond. So is there, there is, there is a same similar way here, if you are, uh, if you are not can purchase the diamond, you should become uh, to the, um, what we say that uh, in the, when we digging the earth and uh, we find the diamond, uh, mines, 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 mines of diamond, mines, mining, mining, mining. So the Sadhguru is the mining of a spiritual diamond so you if you if you have no money if you have no anything you should come to Sadhguru and serve Sadhguru and Sadhguru will give you the enlightenment if you have money and facility then you come on Skype or you come on internet and you you can call the Sadhguru in America and various country and Sadhguru will come there and Sadhguru will give you diamond in your city or in your home or in your uh, program that is the second way of diamond and there is no any third way to get the diamond uh, it because you can uh, snatch the diamond you can have the diamond but you can looting the diamond but you cannot snatch the atma jnana you cannot uh, theft of atma jnana and you cannot looting the atma jnana atma jnana is a diamond that nobody can uh, Oh my God, what is happening here? Uh, yes. What is happening now? Can you see me? Something is happening in internet. I think it is good. Hmm. Maybe. Shivam Shivam and the internet is uh, interrupted so I am telling even you can snatch the diamond from other person even you can loot in the diamond from other person even you can theft the diamond from other person but you can not do this diamond a spiritual diamond you cannot nobody can theft my diamond because my enlightenment by the force by the hook by the cook, nobody can. Because it only and only comes 
in the highest stage of the love between the guru and the disciples by the heart i'm not telling uh, uh, about physical love or other that is a very very good equilibrium between the disciple and the master as i want to tell a enlightened lamp can enlighten the other lamp when the tip of lamp which is not enlightened and tip of lamp which is enlightened they comes closer so that if this the light jump into the another the flame jump into the another lamp do you understand what i am telling i want to repeat a enlightened lamp candle can enlighten through other lamp when both comes to closer very closer so the same example in the master and disciple relationship is called please understand what i am telling i am your loving father you you ask me the enlightenment i will i tell you when your love will be 100% complete there is no negativity there is no dilemma there is no doubt there is no separation there is no two then you will be enlightened what happened to the mother swami when i come to the puerto rico and i live uh, 12 days with mother swami's uh, house in the mother swami's house she always serve me she take food with me she all do thing before me she she never leave me alone only when i sleep then she leave me alone she always stay stand in my service then lamp jump the light jump into the mother swami my light is jump to the mother swami so this is a big achievement and uh, don't think about it you think now only peace stability of mind you think only awareness you only do the meditation everything will be come in his time a child is born he will be grow he will become adult he will become a good person or he will become a old person this is the natural process if you do the meditation then you will become enlightened but before enlightenment you will become a peaceful person yes mother swami yes very good question i want to tell that the real spirituality is never depend on worldly things because if you do anything by the physical body that is temporary because physical body is also itself temporary arrangement because physical body comes by the boom of the mother by the fertilization by the ovulation 
by the guest relation, by the best relation, by the transformation and by the delivery. So, anybody will born, he will be die. So, body is born, that will be die. So, the, the die, the mortal thing, how can achieve the immortality? So, spirituality is never concerned with the physical body. And the master who is te teaching the physical exercise in the name of spirituality, they are not real master. They are giving you the false exercises and false experiment in the name of the spirituality. I want to tell second thing. When you sleep in the night, you see different type of the lights in the dreams. You see the sunlight, you see the moonlight, you see the lamp light, you see the vapor lamps, you see the halogen lamp, you see the nitrogen lamp, you see the blasting light, you see the volcanoes light, you see the starlight in your dream stage every day in, the, in your life. So that is also a fake illusion. If any master show you the light, if any master show you different type of the articles in the dream, in the, in the medicine, uh, meditation, the meditation is not meditation, that is the dream also. They create a psychological dream in your mind as the psychologist. Do the mesmerism, hypnotism with the with their clients, and they make a hypothetical illusion in the brain also. As as the psychological doctor will say, or as a magi magician will say, the patient will see the same thing. So that is not a real spirituality. And that is also a worldly technique of illusion. I want to tell a third thing. Because a person can be wash out his memory in the brain, in the hitting of the brain. And you have several examples in the life. Some persons, they struck in the accident, the head on the rock or head on the car, and they lost their memory. So your mind leave you in the in the life stage, how that mind can help you in the last immortal, immortal stage. Because mind is only instrument. And instrument has no awareness. Instrument is the instrument. Behind the mind, your life, that is the light of, uh, I don't want to tell light, that is the consciousness of your existence. But you do not know that. One second thing. Third thing I want to say, the intellectual persons, they are the professors, scientists, physical, physical, physiologists, and uh, phys uh, physics scientists, chemist, chemical scientists, hardware scientists, and software scientists, and, and the, uh, and the uh, uh, what did I say, the rocket scientist, a spacecraft scientist, Aircraft scientists, they are highly intellectual person of this world. They invent new and new softwares and new and new machines and so and so. But they cannot know the God. Because God cannot become in the arena of your intellect. So intellectuality is also the part of world, not part of the spirituality. Okay? And the mood is always changeable. Sometime in the morning you are happy, in the noon you are irritated, in the, in the evening you are feeling tired and dumb and, and you want to dullness, you, you, you feel dullness in the night and mood is changed every time. Maybe in the morning you feel dullness, maybe in the morning you are sleep very well and you awake and you you have irritated in your family members unnecessarily. So the mood is also changing and changing stage of mood, how can 
uh, that introduce you ever unchangeable God, unchangeable existence, and and biggest illusion is your ego, because you are not physical body, but you think you are a physical body. You are not mind, but you think that you are mind. Your mind is yours. You are not intellect because your consciousness is not intellect, but you think you are an intellectual person. So, that is not yours, but you think that is yours, that is your ego, and that is ego has a very beautiful word in this world. Somebody says self-confidence, somebody says self-respect, somebody says my willpower, somebody says I am the superior, Somebody says, I will conquer you. Somebody says, I will become a very rich person. Somebody says, I will become the governor of this community. And that is all the illusion of the ego. But your consciousness is not depend on your ego. When you will die, your ego will be dissolved. When you will sleep without dream, your ego will dissolve in the sleep. So, my dear friends, the question of yours is that, that is, I have given you the answer. What was the basic question of this person, please? Repeat. Because I flow in my way. I, I tell as why I want to tell. Oh, I, I, I remember, I, I remember, I, I, I come, I come. Huh, so I want to tell a master who is teaching you physical body exercise or mental exercise or they are te uh, teaching you the chanting of mantras and they are teaching you the light seeing inside of your like, order line and they are awakening your kundalini and they are uh, giving you many many vision of snack, golden light blue light, red light, and they are all fake masters. A master is not many in India. Master is very few. Not many in India. Because I have not find any master my 45 years, and I find after 45 of my age a very good master, and he was not living in the world. He was living in Himalayan cave. He was living in the deep and dense Himalayan cave. Nobody, nobody meet to him. He don't want to meet to anybody. Very few persons, they can meet that master. And he is almost disappeared from, for the world. So master is not many. Please shake this illusion out of your brain. Businessman in the name of the master, you can find many. But real master is not many. You can find many businessmen. Because uh, Mother Swami tell, they can copy. They can copy the teaching of masters. But they are incomplete masters. They are not masters. They are only the puppet, robot, robot. They are not alive masters. They are only, they want money, they want fame, they want many, many disciples, big ashram in the New York or, or many, many cities. They want enjoy, they want, they want good disciples, service, service. Okay? So this is the complete answer of you. There is no many master. If you have a master in India, but uh, I have given you the uh, uh, warning that please be careful. Be careful. You you can uh, you can translate into the Spanish. <laughs> 